Hello everyone, welcome to the next last episode of my tutorial on how to build a calculator in JGR. And this episode will be much easier than the previous one, there will be no more complicated logic, but programs for many signals will be long and unpleasant to write. In the last episode I have almost finished adding, we are still need to program one bit which requires structure that I will build in this episode. This constructor is designed to display the result of adding the first digit. It will be a loop of 19 blocks from 0 to 18th. Based on the block in which the train is standing, we will determine the number of units that will be displayed on the LED display. At the same time, this loop will allow us to easily determine whether we have an overflow in adding the first digit or not. So let's start. To have such a huge, ah, oh, huge, to, to have uh, 19 of blocks, you need to have a quite large loop. So if I do this way, 15, that's supposed to be okay, 15, and now 2, 2, and 2. Now signals. Of course you can do it in different ways. For example, instead of like I have, I'm checking just uh, I I have those blocks, and I'm checking for for red. But for example, you can have one long train over here, and checking for the green signal. So that's that depends what you prefer, how you prefer programming. I don't like such a long. Uh, trains such a long um, because they are really, really long trains I don't like such a trains so I'm doing this uh, with this method uh, now so this will be my zero okay and I will go this way so this is going to be one and so on so on now I'm going to program with you only two signals because as you will see this is a very time consuming process. Each of those signals uh, has to be programmed individually because we have 19 results 0, 1, 2, 3 and 2, 18th. Yes, so in this case is 18th. So we have 19 blocks. So 19th different. Uh, different results so we need to program this to check if we have zero we have zero so we should detect this quite fast second bit now we're checking the third bit third bit and if it's green we're checking if the next one is green and if this is green as well we're checking the last one if it's green as well so we we're checking all those five if they are green now if they are green I want this signal to be red and in all other cases I want this signal to be green so I need to put those Operations, whatever you call it, and make them green, green, green. I forgot to think about the green. Sorry, green, green. I'm getting tired. It is possible that I will make some mistakes. So that's green, 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 red. Okay, now the next signal. You can't copy them because this is just completely different program. So this one. And now, again, we're checking for the condition of the first bit. Uh, well, I want to, uh, you don't have to, you don't have to. I can, because I know how the one looks like, so I don't have to change the result. But it's much better to program it with this train uh, moved now to position one. So we have over here result one, because zero plus 1 is 1, 0 plus 1 is 1. So now you can as well check if your results are correct. 
so that's another thing another advantage uh, so this is unspecified so now so if this is if the first bit is red we go now to the block between else and and if now we're checking condition for the rest the second block so now because uh, it's green so we go for the condition between if and else now the third if is green fourth and the last condition for the five for the fifth so if the first is uh, red the other are green uh, I want this signal the number one to be red in all other cases I want the signal to be green consuming process and that's the first loop we need to have another loop with one more uh, block so there will be 20 blocks mm. yeah because the second digit can be 19 because we have an overflow uh, from the first from the first uh, result so now this is this looks okay let me push the train so we can see if it's green yeah it is green so this way you're going to program all those results in each those signals so for example the last one the 18th which is over here this is this is here is the last one will be programmed in such a way that we will discover first if the first is green then the second is red the third is green the fourth is green and the fifth is red okay I'll be back in a moment so uh, we have all the signals uh, done so we can discover all those uh, results yeah I will display it later maybe at the end of this video because we have a lot of those signals uh, not many people will be interested in this so I think I will leave it uh, for the end of the video now it's a time to finish our adding because we have this loop uh, what we need to have over here I need to have a proper carry when there is overflow not this one that's something different uh, because we're adding numbers uh, digital actually numbers uh, zero like over here plus seven so there is no overflow yeah but if it's for example 11 so we have uh, we want to display over here one and then 10 add to this to this so because when over here is overflow the overflow it means that is 16 17 or 10 18 okay but we can still have 11 12 so this overflow over here will not uh, discover if this is 10 11 or something so we need to have a different way of discovering if we have overflow uh, so we program this and it looks something like like this so we have a condition and I'm going to check to check um, this block this is 10th so when we have 10th uh, result 10 I want to display in in this 0 and uh, because I have a 10th so 0 and now the unit for 10th which is 1 goes over here so that's our carry okay uh, so let me uh, set signal this way now so if this is red if this is red 
I will be red okay I mean the curry will be red if this is red the curry will be red okay now if uh, if we go for 11th so another condition signal state now if the train will be in block 11 we go half overflow so you want to display one and then add one for tens as a carry so again if this is red this one will be red as well okay and when we get to zero we go like this all the way to zero when we get to zero so there will be condition now we're going to show zero set signal and we're going to show zero block so now when this is red I want this signal to be green I mean the curry the curry will be green okay so this and, and, you, and you have to program this curry like this for all those signals so I'm going to make it on my own and I will be back in a moment uh, bit curry for tens is done it's finished it's all right and it works this way that when uh, when the the train is in one of those blocks uh, 10 to 18 this bit will be red and if it's between 0 and 9 in those blocks 0 to 9 it will be green okay now we need to make a and I need to display that the result and the adding is already correct I've checked it already so the adding is correct so we need to make a we need to make a dummy display of course you don't need but I prefer to do it this way we don't have much room over here so I think I'm going to make something like this and unfortunately this is going to be another time consuming process so I'm going to show you just the one and then uh, I will do the rest without recording so you can save some some time and it will be easy for you to following the same way the same pattern so um, this is the signal I'm going to program this signal and because it's very similar to this signal I'm going to copy this one However, now we need to change our signals, so we need to go now for those exit signals. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, so now we need to have more conditions for uh, the rest of the blocks for uh, ten to eighteen. So we need to have a condition. We need to show the signal, the exit signal for 10th. And now when the train is in this block, I want to display 0. So this one is supposed to be red. So make this signal, this is this arm red. Now we want to have another condition, this time for 11. So we need to show the 11th block. So this is 11th block. So when this signal is red, I want it, because this is 11, so 1, we want it to be green. So signal state and make it green. Now we go for 12. That's 12. So when is 12, we want again 
this arm to be red. Mm, correct. Now another condition. For thirteenth. And again, we want this arm to be red. Condition 14th for block 14th. Now, when it's 14th, we want this block, this arm, to be green. And immediately we have a green because our train is on 14th block. Now 15th block. When is 15? When the train is in 15th, so we want to display 5. Uh, red. 16th. The same, we want it to be red. Seventeenth. We want it to be red. And the last one. Eighteenth. Signal state. 18th, that's the one. And we want it to be red as well. Okay, I'm going to now, because it's going to be a long, long time as you can see. Uh, so in the same way, you need to program like those before. So I'm not going to repeat uh, the same programming. Uh, th the only difference is that we have more to display. I mean, we have now 18th positions over here you have only nine uh, so I'm going to program it now and I'll be back in a moment all right that's done uh, so that's done and it's working uh, I already done the programming of the digits so we have the first digit displayed I'm not going to repeat the same uh, if you didn't watch my previous videos about uh, um, this tutorial videos so in the first tutorial video we uh, we've done the selectors and the digit display and I explain over there how to build those things so if you want to know just go and watch that video and the same way is done over here uh, it's a bit different over here because we have those uh, s uh, long long program for those signals uh, like this and over here is just for 10 okay so this is a 19th this is 10th conditions now what we need to do we need to display the rest uh, the rest so uh, we have uh, now a, this is not a problem it's just a bit difference now so this loop is 19th blocks but now we have a one more result because we can get uh, additional one as an overflow so instead of maximum result 18th we will get maximum result uh, it is possible to get maximum result 19th so that's why we need now to have uh, 20 long 20 blocks long loop 0 1 2 3 till 19th yeah so I'm going to build some something like this it will be looking exactly like this it will be programmed exactly like this so I'll, I will not showing how I'm programming it because that will be waste of your time uh, to watch it and it will be very very long so I will be back when I finish building that that loop a uh, longer loop is ready now we have a 20 blocks uh, long loop and the last 19th program 19th signal checking 
if we've got 19th result. So we're checking for the first bit if it's red, then second bit if it's red, then two other bits if are green, and the last bit if it's red, it means that it's 19th and then the tr this signal will become red, the train will stop over here and the signal, exit signal will be red as well. Now I've done I've done as well the dummy. The dummy we've got in this case one condition more for 19th. So it looks like this. Uh, yeah, so it looks exactly like the, the previous one, but uh, we have additional condition which is over here and it shows that exit signal and actually for all except for this left bottom arm is red for this one the only one because it's 9 is going to display n uh, 9 so over here this one is going to be green so that's the difference and now we're going to have display oh and I, I connected this uh, this dummy and this display together so now they're showing uh, the correct two digits and we still have to make the last one digit which is a bit tricky because we need to have again dummy and so that's going to be something uh, let me do it here so it's going to be again something very similar and I'm going to program as well all those things because they actually most of the time the same so I don't want to waste your time now anymore because I believe if you watch this video you should be now able to to do it and the less the last thing we need to have a loop that will allow us uh, to determine to if here is supposed to be one or zero so we need to check the state of uh, so I will have a one here and one here and exit just here and uh, actually here and here I don't need this one alright and we need a train of course we need a train here uh, let's clone where the train is let's clone this one now we need to program the rest so again stop recording I'll be back in a moment so all is done I actually finished the calculator uh, because there was not much to do it's very simple to explain now um, so I supposed to make this uh, display for zero this last digit so it displays zero or one I had a bug over here because I touched accidentally this 14 and uh, I've got a lot of uh, uh, I lost ID of th of this signal of this 14th and I lost uh, ID for that so I had to fix this dummy and uh, so this is very simple and why because to we have to display only 0 or 1 so those two signals they don't have any programs the middle one is always green that's like 0 and 1 always is green and now those four arms are exactly the same because we want them red yes uh, red when is 0 and green when is 1 and those signals are looking at this exit signal so when this signal is green it means that the train over here is waiting at this position I marked them it is 0 it means that I want to display 0 and when the train when the signal is red it means that it's, it waits at the position number one and then those signals are green and uh, this signal is simple 
because it just points to that signal and this one is very complicated uh, not complicated sorry uh, it's very long it's not complicated it's up, uh, it's just long and pleasant to write uh, because it examine all the signals in that loop and when the signal is zero or uh, it goes till nine so we want to display zero yes and when it is from 10th when we want to display one and it is like this till we reach again zero when it's zero we uh, displaying zero so that's it I think that is quite simple I have a different uh, program for that uh, but I still don't understand how it works yes uh, there is something strange about that logic inside that uh, it's kind of, it is working but because I don't understand everything uh, so I'm not using it now because I would have to explain you and I'm not able to explain right now it's something something strange it is working but I don't understand why so now let me show you uh, uh, this because actually our tutorial about this is at its its end so we're going to finish um, uh, so this is it now we unpause the game let's go for some big numbers uh, so we can have those oh it is already okay uh, yeah so it is working very well you can take your calculator on and start examining me if I'm right about everything over here but it seems to be everything correct yeah so that's it uh, oh <laughs> all right so that's it uh, actually that's everything I wanted to show so we will finish our tutorial uh, I promised you to show uh, uh, those signals the programs for those signals but I think it's not necessary if you follow the pattern if you if you watch my video if you follow the pattern how I've done each of those previous signals you will immediately see how to make those signals and you will, you will be able to uh, identify which result we have and what to do next so yeah and it is possible that this is my last video about OpenTTD because I have no idea what else I should show and uh, so what I can say thank you for watching thank you for every like because that's always motivates me I'm sorry for my poor English uh, probably never will learn better I'm too old for that and I think I see you in the next video if not op about OpenTTD so maybe about uh, another game so thank you very much and uh, see you next time thank you